We are following breaking news in South LA. Three people are dead after multiple cars collided early this morning. Two others are in critical condition. KTLA's Carlos Herrera joins us live in South LA's Westmont neighborhood with what we know so far. Carlos. And this is a very fluid situation, guys, uh, with information changing uh, every minute, actually. I just spoke with a police sergeant here at the scene. He tells me that, yes, three people are confirmed dead. All he could tell me uh, at this time is that those three are females. Uh, they don't know what age, but they all died here at the scene. And you can see the canopies here, one body here in the middle of the street, the two others uh, in the canopy uh, far over to the sidewalk there. They have also confirmed that there are two cars uh, involved here, and there is at least one other person, possibly two, that were taken to the hospital uh, by ambulance. Uh, we don't know the extent of their injuries. Uh, we don't know in which car they were in, uh, but uh, we're hearing again that they remain hospitalized and are hoping to get more information as it comes. Let's get you over to some video to give you kind of a, a bigger picture of the wreckage here in this area, the, in this area, the destruction to both vehicles involved, a uh, white Mercedes and what appears to be another black sedan uh, in this area. We're told by LAPD now handling this investigation that it happened uh, shortly before 5.30 a.m. Now, preliminary information from the scene indicates that it all occurred on the eastbound lanes of Vermont near Century Boulevard. When officers arrived, they located uh, the bodies, several of them that had been ejected from at least one of the vehicles, uh, all three of those victims died here at the scene. Two of them had to be uh, extracted from the black sedan uh, that was involved in the crash. Uh, again, they are victims only being described as females, an unknown age, but it is unclear what exactly happened here, what caused it all. It's unknown if speed was a factor, but uh, Pedro Lauren, by speaking to witnesses here this morning that were also being interviewed by uh, investigators, uh, were told that it appears one of the vehicles here was stopped waiting to take a left turn when the other vehicle uh, was speeding, doing well over 80 miles an hour and possibly ran a red light. We spoke with investigators uh, and they said they could not confirm that information. Of course, this is part of the investigation. You can see it yellow taped here right behind me. Uh, they expect this intersection to be blocked off for several more hours. We'll send it back to you.